Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abon, welcome back to Local to Global with KV Mechelen on FM22. Today we're taking on Beer Scott away from home, it's our last game before our winter break and we have just about managed to get out of the bottom two from the games off camera, we'll have a look at the results uh, shortly. As always if you're enjoying the videos, uh, drop a like, leave comments, subscribe if you haven't or if you're new, turn notifications on. Uh, let's get into the match, uh, we'll have a little bit of a chat maybe afterwards about what we're going to do in the January window. Uh, it's going to be I think, more sales than buys because we don't really have any money, but uh, we'll see how things go. First of all, uh, let's jump into it. So last episode, we took charge of our first two matches in charge of KV Mechelen, who are about midway through the season. We got our first points uh, against Ustenda. We were 1-0 down, but Traore equalised in the second half. But then against Zolta, we were 2-0 down, got a late goal through Nicola Storm, uh, but suffered a defeat here, unfortunately. So for the first time with KV Mechelen, let's have a look at what happened off camera. Ball here with the goalkeeper, Kuka. Still 0-0 after 15 minutes. Mechelen uh, did go behind, but it was disallowed. Mirabti to Stanic. And couldn't get the shot away. And Soki with a clearance. And oh my goodness. The goalkeeper's clearance is deflected off of the face of Alexander Stanic. And it's 1-0 Mechelen. Well, Mechelen are just minutes away from their first win under new manager Andy Brown here. They're into the 90th minute. Here's Van Leberg to Mirabti. Out wide for Asare. And this could be a second goal here if this goes well. And it's always, oh, they can't clear it. And Stanich has put it in again. And it's an absolute mess at the back for Club Bruges. Mechelen with a famous win here. It's 2 0. Moasa with the corner kick here. And a header by Michele is off the bar. Mavinga with a throw. Here's Traore. Three minutes to go here. Still goalless. Until now, Stanich has scored for Mechelen. It's 1 0. Are they going to get back to back wins against Club Bruges? And will they now knock them out of the cup? His Hall to Vanden Aiden, and that shot is a hit the crossbar. Vandenberg, switch a play out to the right for Hall. And Hall to Vanden Aiden, has a go, and he smashed the post with that shot. Free kick here with Hotic, two minutes to go in this first half, and it's hit the post, good effort. And Anderlecht coming forward here early on in the second half, it's a good ball for Sardella. And the cross finds Stroikens and it is 1-0 and the elect with less than a minute played in the second half. Mario Stroikens makes it 1-0. Delcra, Grombayek and Stanic has gone in there. That was a crunching challenge and the referee is going to send off Alexander Stanic. Mecklen down to 10, three minutes into the second half. Not what they want. Van Leberg, that's a good cross. And it's Ngonge and he's beating the keeper and it's in. But I don't think it's going to count. It's going to be pulled back for offside. Deforni, oh, it's gone long, and it's Patella, well controlled, the defenders could not deal with it, and it is 1-0 Molenbeek, they lead away against Mechelen in the 29th minute, not the best of starts of the game for the home team. Basilio with a throw to Schellstad, Basilio's got it back here, and it's a first time cross, and it's Amadou Troyo with a great header, 59th minute, Mechelen 1, Molenbeek 1, a fantastic delivery there by Basilio. Kalala. 93rd minute of the game here. Both sides still looking for that winner. Ben Scheib to Ngonge. And he's got Basilio on the overlap and he uses him. Basilio to Scholstad. And Basilio back again here. Good cross. And Troy is there again. And it's the same combination. Is this going to count? It looks on side to me. I think it's going to get given. Boomhand. Zorgan. Lutmine. And it's not over yet. It's Botea. And it's a strike and it's beaten the keeper. And it's a, it's a reply by Monolik. It's 2-2. Barely a minute after Mechelen's, well, what they thought was their winner. Okay. Van Leberg to Van den Aden. Here's Schollstad. That's a good ball over the top for Storm. And it's Togi who scores. 41 minutes gone. It's open nil. Mechelen won in the quarterfinals of the cup. Here's Nicola Storm. Takes it past the right back with ease. He's still got it. And again goes back to Lucas Biker. Storm with the ball back again here. Vandenberg to Schollstad. He can have a go from range there. Instead he sends through Togi and he's beating the defenders. And it's 2-0 Mechelen. 64 minutes gone. Togi with both goals. Traore. Could be a third goal here with about 20 minutes to go. Good spell of possession. Traore. Can he put the ball away here? 
He's pulled it back and it's cleared in the end. And now it's Guay. And it's, uh, well, it's a sliding tackle, but it's fallen to the pot of Mbalo. And it's in. What a turnover. An open counter and get a goal back. It's 2 1 with 20 minutes to go. No, every time's now for Mechelen. 73 minutes. They've still got a way to go here to hold on to this lead in the cup. It's Nunez. It's Vela. And it's Pina who's got space here. And the keeper. What happened? The keeper fall over? Pina with a near post finish. And it's 2 2. Mechelen have thrown away a 2 0 lead. Well, uh, almost halfway through extra time here. I don't think Mechelen expected to be having to play extra time. And Lucas has brought down Haynes there. And he's already on a yellow. This could be trouble. Lucas Biker about to get a second book in. And there's still 15 minutes of extra time to go. Well, Mechelen have survived extra time. And now it is penalties and Gwals is saved by the goalkeeper. Alexander Stanich here to keep pressure on open. It's a good penalty and it is 4-3 Mechelen. And Balo has to score this. He does. It's now 4-4. And now it's the teenager Stanislas of Mavinga. If he scores, they're through. And he does. It's a win for Mechelen. So do you know what? There was some good football off camera. We beat Club Bruges twice. Of the games I thought we were going to win, wouldn't have thought it would be those two. I thought we'd beat Bruges and Molenbeek. I think we need to be beating those teams. And we drew against them both. But we beat Club Bruges in the league and in the cup. So we're through to the Belgian Cup semi-finals. We knocked out Open on penalties. We were 2-0 up there. So the team is not in a good state for today's game. We're just two days removed from that cup game as well. So uh, the team's not looking great fitness-wise. So what does that do to the league table then? Well, we are off the bottom of the table, but only just. We are one point ahead of Leuven, and we're level on points with Molenbeek, uh, and that's on goal difference. It's sorted by games won and then goal difference, and we've won three games each. But today's game is against Biersgott. They are seven points ahead of us, so we are stuck in this threesome down here at the bottom of the table. Need to try and, uh, you know, get away from those guys if we can, and maybe try and catch up with the likes of Biersgott and Open. Fitness-wise, uh, we could be in a better position. Of course, we've just had the cup game, so things are looking a bit tired. Schellstad is definitely not going to play today. Denzel Hall's at right back. Unfortunately, Captain Sandy Walsh is out at the moment. Got a knee injury, going to be out for two to three weeks. Uh, we had a few injuries, actually. Basilio was out for a little while. We got injured playing for Equatorial Guinea. Uh, so, yeah, we had a few injury problems. Midfield of Mrabti and Vanden Aiden today. Uh, Schellstad is not fit to play, so he's going to come out of the side, and we'll get Dirk Asare on the bench. Togi did get two goals last time. Stanich has been doing well. Served the suspension, but with Togi getting that those two goals and that brace, I think we'll leave him up top today as his uh, reward. Defence is looking a bit tired, so we could potentially bring on uh, another centre-back. Let's put Vanden Branden on in place of Ramsey Ayer, I think. We'll make that change there. And I think that should be good. We haven't really done anything to the system. I've taken off shoot on site, but I've left early crosses on. And we're distributing to the number 10, who in this case is Toegi, but we're still going to distribute to him, even though he's not, you know, the target man that, uh, that Stanich is. Okay, we're on the way. Yet to see ourselves win on camera in a video. We've got a draw and a defeat in our last one. But let's see how this one goes. I mean, it's a slow start to the game and a quiet start to the game. But, you know... As long as we avoid defeat, I'll be happy. A draw's good in this occasion. If we can win away from home, though, that would be even better. I mean, some highlights would actually be nice. We haven't seen a single one yet, and we're 34 minutes in. Oh, there's a highlight. It's a free kick for Beer Scott, and it's a header by Lassie, and it is over. That free kick from right by the corner flag. But that's the first highlight we see, and it was an effort by Beer Scott. And about two, three minutes to go of the first half, we do have another one here. It's Van Hamel, the Beer Scott goalkeeper. And that's Marabti winning the header, but Storm uh, didn't see it coming. And Vanden puts through on goal here, and it's a good save by Kuka. Very good save. But Vandenberg will head that down. Here's Vanden Branden. And Togi wasn't going to get to that. Oh, hold on. What's happened there? Been a miscommunication at the back, and we've got a chance maybe. Troy or Ray? Can he put a ball in there? He can. It's Storm. Oh, that header needs to be on target. Couldn't keep it down. We were almost gifted a goal there. Complete breakdown in the communications at the back by the uh, by the Biersquad defence. Okay, a bit of a slow burner, but we're into half time and it is nil-nil. Not bad. Can we get into the second half? Can we maybe get in front? Oh, goodness sake. Injuries have been a problem. We've had a lot of injuries recently. Uh, <laughs> we were very lucky with them at Gibraltar. Here, though, we've had like a lot, so that's not good. Mrabti's out. Uh, let's bring on, let's bring on Mavinga. He's young, but he's actually been quite good. And Togi's also very tired. So I'm going to make a double change, actually. Stanich is going to come on as the target forward. We'll make that change. Let's see if we can get in front in this, uh, in this game. Last one before the winter break. Eleke. 
And Camellini's got a head of uh, Lucas Biker there, his lassie. And it's uh, Shankland, and he's put the ball wide. Neither team has really grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck, have they? It's been a very, it's been a very cagey match. But there might be a goal still. 20 minutes to go. Hall is having a free run on this right-hand side here. But then he just takes a bit too much of a touch and he gives the ball away. And here is Konstantopoulos. And he's gone long. And it's well controlled by Jacobs. But he's given it away. Neuster does well to intercept there. And the ball now with Stanich. And he heads it forward. But that's going to go straight to uh, Biescott's goalkeeper. And he's gone forward again. Van der Berg with a header forward. Traore. Oh, he's lost the ball again. We just can't seem to get forward. We're just losing the ball at the, at the complete wrong time. Jacobs. Oh, and in that case, surely he's offside there. That has to be. Yeah, he was. Okay, we're into the last 10 minutes. This hasn't been an amazing match. It really hasn't. Storm's going to come off. Uh, Basilio is going to come on. He can play anywhere along that left-hand side. He's going to come on. Corner here, though. 87 minutes gone. We've been getting these late goals, and there might be one here with Vanderberg from the corner. Let's see what happens. It's nice to it's in! It's 1-0, and it's Mats Neuster, the centre-back, who gets on the end of the set-piece, and it's 1-0 with 87 minutes gone. Can we hold on for our first away win? That would be a big one. Uh, but it, would be, it would close that gap to four points as well. The free, the, the, the corner kick, Neuster with almost a free header, unchallenged, and it's 1-0. Into the last minute of the game, and that is going to do it. Talk about smash and grab. That wasn't a great match. That really wasn't a good match. But Mats Noster in the 86th minute grabs the win from the set piece. Um, you know, we didn't play badly out there. We just couldn't get those chances away. But we get that 1-0 win. I mean, chance-wise, we did have a few uh, three half chances. One clear-cut chance. They had a chance each as well, Beer Scott. But um, we get the big win. It's a big win as well. Now, I think the clean sheet there is very important. You know, we could have conceded. We didn't. So that puts us on 17 points. So we are one ahead of Leuven and three ahead of Molenbeek. And we close the gap to Beer Scott to uh, four points. So that has gone very, very well. And that's also our last game before our winter break. So we're back, back in January. And our first game back is at home against the current leaders, Antwerp. So it's going to be a tough one. As far as what we're going to do next episode, um, we will have um, a little bit of transfer news from January. I'm going to try and sell a few players on and uh, maybe try and bring one or two players in. We have got some people that are going to be leaving the club, which we've already kind of um, decided on. So Lauren Simon is a young sort of forward. He's going to be joining first Vienna on the 1st of January. Um, he was never going to be you know, of use to us, but he, we're going to get a little bit of money for him, like 23 grand, 24 grand, I think it was. But Lucas Biker is out of contract at the end of the season, uh, so he's only got like six months left on his deal, and he's 31 years old. So I don't really intend on giving him a new contract, because uh, I don't really want him here at 34 years old. He's not going to get any better. So I thought now's a good time to try and cash in on him, and he's going to be going to Hammerby on the 1st of January for just over 700k. So we should hopefully see some of that money, and it also get a bit of wage budget freed, so we can then... Um, you know reinvest that and get ourselves a player that we actually need i said last time our squad is quite large but there's still that one or two gaps i think we probably need a center back because uh, van lebert i've been playing sort of a dm uh, sandy walsh is a right back bike is a left back and he's leaving so i think we probably need a central defender and i think we need something up top as well like you know we've got players here that can play center forward but storm plays out wide van lebert is not a striker um we've got guys like sort of schweirer from togi who are okay but don't really fit the system. Stanich is that target man. He's okay. Like he's playing because he's tall and he's got good jumping, reach, and heading. If he didn't have that, he'd be nowhere near the first team. Well, he wouldn't be starting anyway. So if we can find a better version of Stanich, that would be ideal. But I think if we can get a couple of good loan signings for centre back and striker, that would be good. As far as what game we'll play next episode, I think we'll do standard the age. We'll have uh, three league games off camera. And there'll be sort of January stuff to talk about as well, like transfer news. So I think Standard Liège would be a good place to stop. After that, we've got our Belgian Cup semi-final. We'll see how that goes. And then we've got Leuven 17th, Cholomry 12th, and Union 11th. So maybe we can get some good results in February and try and steer clear of the uh, the bottom of the table. Because at the moment, we're three clear of Molenbeek who are bottom. And we'll try and open that gap if we can. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments and subscribe if you haven't or if you're new. Turn notifications on. And uh, yeah, good win today against Beer Scott away from home. Got that smash and grub win. Wasn't a great match, but we got three points away from home for the first time um, with us in charge. And now we'll get these guys through that winter break 
and uh, we'll see if we can maybe bring some players in just to fill a couple of gaps. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.